Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to discuss about JMDSS. What is what's that thing? I want to show you daily, weekly and monthly inspections, uh, how to conduct all necessary checks and uh, just some short settings. So, okay, let's go through. So guys, we will start from uh, VHF. So basically during daily inspection, you should check both VHF and uh, MFHF during daily inspection without uh, any transmission. Um, in other words, we will call it self-test. Let's start. So first of all, you need to go to the menu. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. You should push number which is related to the text. We have number five for self-test. Okay. It should be DSC self-test because you can test keys, display, LED, alarms. So basically we need only five, which is DSC, but you are not limited. You can, you can choose any of this like an additional DSC. And we can see that DSC self-test passed. Uh, we should repeat those procedures on all VHF radios. Okay. And just back. Pretty much similar for MFHF. Let's go to more, more setup. And then we should go to batteries, DSC self test. Start it. Just turn. Okay, run. No available printers status. That's okay because our printer is not connected to MFHF, but it's all right. Test. DC loopback test passed. So as you can see, the test completed successfully. MFHF tested as well. And uh, let's proceed to another unit. Okay, we will continue with uh, Inmarsat SIM. Basically, during daily inspection, we just to ensure that uh, we are connected to network, which is Atlantic Ocean East to satellite. Uh, we got good uh, power of the signal. Signal quality is 100% and you can see the status is OK. Uh, I will show you table. It will be here uh, with coverage of the satellites. You may choose it if you like. To choose it, you can just make a logout, login, and you, may, and you may choose between the satellites. Also, you can scan to choose the best one with the best quality signal. And basically, that's it. That's that's it for daily. Another thing, we've got uh, cartridges check together with the paper check for printers to Inmarsat. Um, if you see that everything is fine, no alarms, it's printing well, so basically it's enough. So um, I think you will understand how to remove paper, empty one from, from here, it's pretty easy. And um, some people don't know, but the switch, power switch is here. So sometimes during maneuvers or uh, in other important uh, stuff, which is, um, going on on the bridge sometimes it's start continuously printing whole inbox or just beeping um, so you can just switch off and then switch it back when it's necessary and um, that's it and the last you should check the voltage of your batteries so as you can see now it's uh, 2.7 27.3, uh, 27.2, a bit jumping. Uh, normally, you should do on-load, off-load test. You can a little bit play with the dimmer. Actually, about this panel, it's almost everywhere different. You should understand where is the battery's location. I will, I will stick here solace regulation regarding um, batteries, how long they should work. Uh, as per regulations and uh, you just need to check 
voltage and make on load off load test which is meaning you should switch off them from main power supply and just let all GMDSS station work from emergency batteries and um, just to see how the voltage will fall down and then just switch it back to be honest it's not so usually uh, doing this this is some task of the electrician ETO or another responsible person so this is one of part of the daily inspection basically from my experience you just need to see the current voltage and just to ensure that it's not fall down okay let's continue with weekly inspection and uh, one of the weekly inspections this is test between your VHFs uh, DSC call uh, so we will use our uh, MMSI of our vessel and uh, we will make a DSC call so let's go we will go to menu we will go DSC call not the self test this time we will choose station call and we will enter MMSI here is already uh, entered the MMSI because I was doing it before I start the video so let's go we will push ok and we should receive we should receive uh, this call on another VHF and all of other VHFs which is on board ok and it's asking for your walking channel you can choose any leave it like this ok As you can hear, we receive call received, and I've got the same message on all my VHFs. We, as you can, as you can hear it. So we just press OK. Another reminder about printers, and that's it. Let's continue with our weekly inspection, and the next unit is uh, MFHF radio. Uh, to make a weekly DC call to coastal station we will go to this menu mm. call. we should choose type of call press this button choose safety test choose the transmission frequency and MMSI of coastal station hey guys and you should choose area of uh, your operation for us it's somewhere close to Boston and you should find uh, radio stations you can switch off other filters okay just to see only the stations uh, you can choose any which is more or less in coverage of the mfhf let's choose this one and the main thing what you need from here this is mmsi of this station let's get it and proceed to our mfhf okay guys now we will insert our mmsi uh, basically not our station calling mmsi it's always two zero first, then three six six nine one zero one. And I want to just tell you guys you can choose any frequency which uh, may be or may not be described uh, as a working frequencies uh, in the publications for this related station. Uh, and another thing that sometimes you will not receive acknowledgement. And it's no worries regarding this. Uh, I'm not sure if I will receive it right now, but uh, you should choose then another station or just conduct conduct this um, in first relevant for you port. Just conduct this test because it's very important. Sometimes you can send it to another vessel just to confirm that your GMDSS station is working properly uh, I mean the MFHF by itself but uh, it's still very important to conduct its to 
Harbor Station. Hey guys, we are moving to monthly inspections. Uh, let's start from link test for in Marsat C. Uh, basically, you should go to network link test and perform link test. You may see last day uh, when it was performed, so it's another point to check you uh, when you conducted last time. Start perform link test. And while performing the link test, the terminal will be locked. Yes, we want this. Automatic test mode, normal communication disabled. Do not press any distress button unless you are in distress. Okay, so we will not press this one. Okay, let's go next. Another part of the GMDSS equipment. This is search and rescue transponder, SART. Uh, you may see instruction here how you should test it. So simply just move, just move test button up and you will see some signal, some um, waves, let's say some circles on, on your radar. I will show you how it looks like. And uh, basically that's it. But what's important, you should bring SART out of the blind sector of your antennas, radar antennas. And just raise your hand as much as you can and start test by pushing this button up. It will start beeping, it's alright, just continuously hold hold it and you will see and you will see circles on your radar. But just be sure that your radar settings are properly set on. And don't forget that usually you have more than one SART on the bridge. They also may be in uh, lifeboats and uh, in some different places. Okay guys, back to monthly inspections we will inspect now our portable radio which we use for abandoned ship um, actually we also using them on the abandoned ship drill if, necess if necessary um, we are also testing them monthly so uh, what's the test for them first of all first of all definitely we should start them just turn on uh, I've got another detailed video about them on my channel you can check it uh, we should test it that they are working properly, that batteries are in place. I mean the batteries which you will use in case of real emergency expire a date on them. Uh, you should choose, you should also check uh, how they are working without radiation on channel 16. Let's move to another VHF radio to check how they are working. So as you may see, I will choose here <coughs> radio channel 13 and I will choose 13 as well here. In ideal world, better you will check it with another person which will speak here and you will just receive some message, but I will just do it simply only by myself. Radio check, radio check, of course we should increase volume here. Radio check, radio check. So looks like working smoothly. Let's back to 16. And here as well. Or just you can may press this button by default. Okay. Okay guys, so let's discuss EPERP as a part of the weekly GMDSS inspection. Ah, oh, excuse me, monthly GMDSS inspection. So you will open those keys, but be very careful what you need to do just to remove this pin. And I will show you how it looks like from inside. And here is our EPR. As you may see here, uh, HRU, which is called hydrostatic release unit. So it will release your EPR in case of vessel sinking. So guys, here you can see some small manual, how to test it. So for testing we need just to push this button for within 5 first minutes of each hour and remove EPIRB from bracket prior to testing. Okay, so we remove it already from the bracket. 
for normal testing. Push and hold for 15 seconds. Ensure switch goes to ready position. One flash, it's okay. Extended 60 GPS only. Push twice within 3 seconds. Ensure switch goes to ready position. Two beeps and one flash is okay. So after your test is completed, just put your EPIRP inside of the bracket and uh, close it properly just to ensure that you will not lose it. Okay guys, so now as you can see we are at the monkey deck and as a part of monthly GMDSS inspection we will just uh, real quick inspect some antennas, connections. Of course you cannot assess it properly because uh, we are just mates, not ETOs. So, yeah. So basically, as you can see, uh, we've got one antenna. Just look at this antenna, understand is, is that antenna broken or not? I mean, how is the cable? Maybe it's damaged. Of course, you will notice it on the equipment, but just in general to, to be sure that there is no loose items or in other stuff. Another example of antenna. So as you may see, it looks pretty fine. Looks good. Uh, this is antenna, if I'm not mistaken, from... Oh, it's not, it's not described, but anyway, you may find on your vessel like a aerial chart. So you may understand where each antenna exactly located. There is plenty cables, plenty wires. Definitely you should not touch it by your hands. And just observe if you if you understand there is something wrong with this. Just report it and uh, then it will, should be rectified. Okay, so in general we can count this inspection as done. And you should do it basically on the monthly, monthly basis.